Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, this is Sketch Monkey here. Today we're having a look at the Nissan Versa SR. This is the top level trim and this is a 2023 model year. We do have some changes in the design, specifically here in the front face. And what I want you to keep in mind while we go over this car is that it costs, listen to this, in 2023 you can get this for $21,000 and I think that is a fantastic deal. I also really like this design because it is a proper looking sedan style even though it is a small one. And you also have the 17 inch wheels, adaptive cruise control, you have LED headlights, heated seats, Apple CarPlay and all the things you need, again, for $21,000. So what we're gonna do in this video is, of course, have a look at this design from a front, side, rear, and also the interior. And this interior, honestly, look at this. We have a uh, cap for the gauge cluster. We also have a uh, digital infotainment screen, and I actually prefer this type of layout over the iDrive system, system that you find in $100,000 BMWs because this actually has housing for the gauge cluster, analog to the speedometer with an integration of the digital uh, gauge as well. And you also have an eight inch infotainment screen. But let's start with what's under the hood. So let's pop the hood here and let's have a look at this 1.6 liter engine. There is just one thing overall on this car that I would like to change and more on that when we take this for a drive. So here it is guys, a 1.6 liter four cylinder and we have 122 horsepower. Now this is not a fast car at all. We have 114 pound-feet of torque connected to a CVT gearbox and I wish this came with a five, six or five speed. The base model comes standard with a five-speed manual, but when you go up in the higher trims, you only get the CVT and I don't understand why. Zero to six is done in nine and a half seconds. However, the fuel economy is absolutely fantastic. You have 32 in the city and 40 highway. And again, the pricing for this, again, $21,000, pretty decent deal. This is a very, the smallest prop rod I've ever seen in my life. But let's close this down and let's talk about this design. Starting with the front end design, I do like that you get LED headlights and you also have this typical Nissan style for the uh, daytime run lights right here. And this new styling for 2023, I also think that is a very cool upgrade. It still looks very good. You can see the new parts being specifically this big piece right here with these not so sure about this though these chrome pieces that go up to the headlight itself this is the new the the, the main difference you can see from the 2022 to 2023 is this black piece right here but it's clearly still a Nissan when you look at this design. We have the sort of a V-motion grill in this case and I do like the line flow that we have going up here on the hood because it does have a connection to the grill. Feels like this line then extends into the grill itself and of course the uh, identity is intact with these LED uh, headlights and the daytime run lights. You also have an interesting chamfer up here. I don't think I've seen this before on cars to have this big chamfer up top on the hood, but it creates a very unique looking front end for the Nissan Versa. You also have the SR logo here, of course, in red and the brand new Nissan logo. Maybe not so new anymore. I think this came out in 2022. But the functionality of the grille is intact. We have this middle piece being covered up because as you know, regulations require that you have some sort of structural piece behind here. So it's probably a big metal bar behind it that's covered up, but it's open up top and open down low, even down low at the very bottom. However, one thing that I would like to change in the front end is have a look at the corners of the front end. We do have this pretty interesting plastic piece that doesn't look like it belongs here and it doesn't even have any sort of connection to the otherwise very clean line in the front ends. We could still have something like that, but I want to have this be at least functional in some way, or the very minimum that you can do is just add some cool texture onto this and not have it be just flat black. But other than that, overall, the front end design of the Nissan Versa 2023, I think it looks really, really cool. So coming in to the side view, and as I said, this is a proper sedan. You have the almost a pretty clear three box design when it comes to this car. You have the front 
box right here being the hood which sits very or is very short compared to the greenhouse which is super long and that's thanks to this 1.6 liter engine sits up front which is not very big then you have the uh, second box being the greenhouse and then of course the third box being the trunk space in the back and we do have some very cool line flow in this car so you have this line right here cutting from the very corner again like we want to corner off the taillight cutting in to the door here and then fading into the front and fender and coming back in the uh, bumper in the front end itself one single line that i want to see in most cars is just one line like this that wrapped creates a wrapper around the entire car and kind of brings everything together and then we have this nissan c pillar which is very typical for nissan to have some sort of styling piece graphic piece cutting off the c pillar like this it doesn't bother me at all and i think it adds some more personality to the car itself you also have this lower section right here with this cut line also carving out some more of this volume from the side profile now looking at these wheels and these are 17 inch optional wheels they look pretty good to me i think it suits the overall style of this car it's not a performance car zero to 69 and a half seconds we can still have some stylish looking wheels and i think these look really good however it would be cool to see what this would look like if we lowered it just an inch or so and then put some wider tires and maybe 18 inch wheels on this car i think that would look fantastic because i do like the design of it it looks great specifically as i'm a fan of sedans which are slowly going away right now and i also like the fact that the side mirror right here is mounted on the door creating a more sporty design or sporty approach for this with the led indicator integrated right here in the side mirror and this being gloss black kind of contrasts a little bit with the rest of the car the overall side profile of this uh, versa sr looks fantastic as well as the rear so this is the complete package i really like this design it's very tight and it definitely still has the nissan identity to it with this splash taillights it looks like someone took a ball of color and just threw it on here kind of splashed into the side we also have this section here cutting into the lower graphics of the taillight and these are not leds i do wish that we did have an led bar inside here because we have that in the front end but for twenty-one thousand dollars, i honestly do not care one bit but have a look at the lower section here and the bumper we even have parking sensors this looks like sort of fake carbon fiber in the diffuser we also have some wings in the diffuser which is pretty funny since this is not a fast car at all and is definitely not needed but hey it looks cool still and this being the sr trim level we do have this spoiler up top on the trunk looking really cool i think it adds something to this design it kind of makes a clean send off to this design i also actually like in this case that this is in body color it looks nice i would not want to have this be in black in this case so let's pop up the trunk and let's see what's going on under here you have plenty of space not a lot of connectivity in here as you can see but still all the necessary things you need for your road trip is definitely going to fit back here and if you do need more space all you got to do is just fold down the rear seats in the middle here we still have the new nissan logo of course and overall it's a pretty traditional looking rear end because we do have a proper bumper right at the lower section this is also some a design feature that is slowly going away to have it kind of melt from the taillights like this and create this uh, curvature and creating a big beautiful bumper in the back that's exactly what i want to see and here you can also see just how bulky or beefy this section is it creates a little bit of a muscle to have this carve out section of the of the body lines and then creating a more volume for the section that sits right over the rear axle creating a bit more sporty look and that's also one reason why i want to have a little bit fatter wheels than this that sits further out and kind of plants this rear end i think it would look fantastic on this car so we had a look at the exterior design and now it's time to jump in and check out this interior what exactly do you get for 21 thousand dollars i think you're actually going to be surprised first of all you do have remote start as well on the key fob and here is the key it looks pretty normal you have the remote start up here lock unlock and you have the trunk open and the panic button right there so let's fire this up let me show you the uh, infotainment screen and the gauge cluster 
Have a nice cool animation right there of a Nissan Versa SR in the specific color. Not sure if that's just a coincidence of, or if it's actually uh, programmed to be the specific color that you have on your car. But have a look at this integration. We still have this uh, fake carbon fiber up here, which is fine because for this price range, I'm just glad to see Nissan implementing some or putting in some effort to create some different texture feels and looks for this interior and this housing looks great as well. It is hard touch uh, material all the way up here, but who cares? You're never going to touch this area anyway. You have some nice vents around it right here, round on the corners. Then you have some more rectangular vents on the in the center portion and also around going back in the other corner as well. And have a look at this soft touch material, red stitching for the SR trim. These are details that you don't see in a lot more expensive cars. Now look at the gauge cluster here and I like this layout because as you can see we do have a, uh, fit, a um, analog speedometer to the right which of course you can't modify or do anything with but the rest of the gauge cluster is completely configurable so you can go and do whatever you want here to uh, customize this display and have it show exactly what it is you want to show so you can have the I like to just have it simple with the tachometer right there. And then you can have music, average MPGs, as you can see is 41 MPGs, absolutely fantastic. Some more information and here are the settings for the screen itself. Control the screen by these buttons right here on the left side of the steering wheel. On the right side, we have another feature that is not very common in this price range and that is adaptive Cruise control, you set all of that right here with the voice command being integrated in this section as well. Now looking at this infotainment screen, you do have an eight inch touch screen, which works pretty well. And the thing is, this is again, one of these screens that I would never use the native uh, system for it because I would always have my phone plugged in. But if you want to, you can use it as a normal touch screen. Going back to the home screen right here, you have the radio and then if you click the camera buttons. You can go into some more display settings and here you have the brightness control, uh, contrast, tint, color and black level and so on as you can see. Putting it into reverse, gonna pop up the backup camera. Not the best resolution I have to admit, but who cares about that? You're still gonna see an Escalade uh, behind you so you don't uh, reverse into it and you also have of course the trajectory lines putting it back into park and you have the volume button right here scroll wheel for the radio and down here another reason why I love this interior is because we have some very sturdy toggles for the climate control settings just have a look at the texture of this uh, dial here beautifully done by Nissan very easy to grip and you only have two so one for your temperature and one for the fan speed and that's all you need very easy to adjust we also have this little display in the middle to show you exactly what temp you have and the fan speed as well you have heated seats for both front seats and you can also just turn off the whole uh, AC system if you want to by this button but since it's going to be very hot in here I'm going to keep that on further down you do have a 12 volt outlet right there you have a USB-C to plug in your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto or if you want to use a USB you have that there as well and again another feature $21,000 wireless charging pad with a very steep angle so there is no way your phone is going to slide out of that cave in there you have a start button right here and the normal gear selector now this right here this is the main beef I have with the Nissan Versa SR I don't understand why Nissan would not offer this with a basically the you could take the five speed that they have in the base Versa and just add it in this car because I think it needed needs it instead of this CVT automatic gearbox that we have I'm gonna take it for a drive in just a minute so I can show you exactly what it feels like to drive we have two cup holders here a classic old e-brake and we have some storage with another USB under this leather wrapped armrest looking at these seats I think they look great as well nothing too crazy about them and they're very uh, soft and it is they are not leather as you can see but we do have some red the coloring for it to add that sporty touch of the SR trim in the seats as well it's very comfortable and they have just enough bolstering for this type of vehicle looking at the steering wheel we have some sporty features here for example the red stitching that we have up here or the orange stitching coming back on the inside of the steering wheel new Nissan logo in the middle flat bottom steering wheel fantastic by Nissan down here you have the controls for opening the hood and opening the fuel cap and I'm not 
not sure what this little compartment is for because it's a hard touch material, it's hard plastic, so things, things are probably gonna slide around here. But if you have a couple of keys or something like that, I guess you can put them right there. Looking up top, we don't have a sunroof, and you know me, I'm totally fine with that, doesn't bother me one bit. The door design looks pretty clean as well. We have this carbon, fake carbon fiber coming back, something again, which I appreciate, otherwise a very, very simplistic design, but where you're gonna have your arm is still leather wrapped with, again, this stitching coming back in the doors. Last but not least, for the front end, do we have a glove box? Of course we do, and it is pretty big for this Nissan Versa. Now, with that said, let's jump in to the the back seat let's check out how much space I have behind my own driving position because honestly I have not sat back there yet so this is gonna be the first time jumping in to the back seat and as you can see you have a decent amount of space I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel back here at being 6'1 honestly sitting back here it's actually not too bad because I feel like they didn't raise the rear seats too much which they normally do to uh because of the rear axle i feel like i'm sitting in almost the same level as the front seat my head space is pretty decent as well and as you can see leg space is is not great but still for for this type of package i think it's fine you do have one single usb-c here better than nothing and if we fold down the center armrest which we can't do because look at this we don't have an armrest for the rear passengers but we still have cup holders right there in the doors so with that said we talked about the exterior design the interior and now it's time to take this nissan versa sr for a drive and let me show you what it's all about Okay guys, it's time to take the 2023 Nissan Versa SR for a drive. Let's see what this is all about. It's when you're sitting in here though, it's kind of hard to believe that this is just $21,000. I did not think cars, <laughs> you know, you could sell new cars in 2023 for $23,000. We're going over this pretty rough gravel patch your parking lot and the ride is really comfortable i think that has to do maybe a little bit with the um, 17 inch wheels because we have a lot of rubber on these tires even though i would love to see this as i said with 18s maybe a little bit fatter tires in the rear i do think we have 205 millimeter all around which for traction with this type of power that we have is totally fine we don't need a lot of um, width on the tires to put the power down because we only have 122 horsepower. But you know, for something that you just want to cruise, cruise around town, it's a perfect car. It really is. Take you from one point to the other while looking pretty classy. This Nissan, Nissan Versa SR is a really, really good deal. However, the biggest complaint I have is gonna be the gearbox. I have yet to drive a CVT gearbox that feels fun to drive. And when you're trying to overtake people on the highway with this type of power and this gearbox, it's gonna take you a while, specifically if you go uphill. You might even make it. I, I was in that situation yesterday. I was coming up a hill and trying to overtake and i just have to give up because it just i just couldn't it just didn't have enough power to overtake uh, the vehicle in front of me so i just chilled out and went in behind him instead but it's not really the the most fun car to drive but again that's not really what this is all about is it it's about the value and the uh, equipment you get for the money and when, when it comes to that with apple carplay heated seats adaptive cruise control you know it's very very hard to beat so we're flooring it downhill we're up to 50 and finally we get to 60 so as you can see not the fastest car and it's also very very loud it sounds angry when you're stepping on like i don't want to do this but since you're asking me to do this, I'll give it a shot. You can definitely feel that it's a light car and it's a small car. And I like that because it's getting very uncommon today, specifically in a sedan package. I feel like I have this responsibility to support sedans when I get to review them. And this is one of these 
that as I said if you're not really uh, into sporty driving you just want a nice car that will get you from point A to point B I think this is a really good deal another detail that's uh, that's cool in this car is the resolution of the screen the resolution is fantastic on the tachometer it almost looks like it is an analog tachometer when you have it in that setting because of the resolution very crisp and the numbers are and the fonts and everything just looks very nice in the middle you do have the parking sensor uh, settings or visualizations right there and which gear you're in and that's pretty much all you need at the very bottom at the gauge cluster right there you do have the fuel gauge so let's take it out on the highway and let's see how noisy or comfortable let's just check out the ride on the highway let's do that I sort of forgot how a slow car feels when you <laughs> when you merge onto the highway because it feels like it's struggling a little bit so let me show you what I'm talking about here and here we go flooring it 40 50 come on 60 and 65 so as you can see, overtaking it could be it could be a bit of a challenge. The noise in here in set we're cruising in 70 now. The ride, first of all, very comfortable. I don't really have any complaints there. There is a little bit of uh, wind noise in here, but again, I, I find it hard to complain about things at this price range when we have all the things we have in the Nissan Versa SR. We do have some wind noise, we do have some road noise, noise, but that is all to be expected in my opinion. How do we sum up this beautiful little 2023 Nissan Versa SR? As I said, the design, exterior and the interior, I feel like it feels like a more uh, expensive car. Specifically when you look at this interior, it doesn't feel like this is a $21,000 car and that is a very good thing of course for Nissan. I do like that we have the physical controls for the uh, key features down here climate control we have a bunch of connectivity apple carplay android auto heated seats uh, adaptive cruise control so overall the only thing that lets it down is again the gearbox thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video